Who said Kendrick Land Christmas? Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's probably so <laughs> ah! Welcome back to Mr. Larry's Craft Show. <laughs> <sighs> it feels good to stand again. Every December, people from all across the world take red things and green things and put them next to each other and call it a holiday. But who am I to stop you from celebrating instead with Elsa Christmas or Moroccan Christmas or Rainbow Candyland Christmas? Maybe your Christmas colors are blush and bashful. No matter what personality you give your holiday decor this year, rest assured that you are indeed correct. I'm here to help you realize your colorful, crafty home decor potential with a sweet, simple project that is sure to enhance your centerpiece or mantle. While you all grab your glue guns, I'm gonna share three things with you about our project, starting with thing number one. In our bustling modern society, colors tend to adopt meaning or provide an emotional or intellectual impression. Red means stop, green means go. Red plus green equals baby Jesus. Many Christians, for instance, see the colors as representation of the life and death of Jesus Christ. Previous to this, ancient Romans would use red and green holly to celebrate the solstice festival. However, in the modern era, the main progenitor is often considered to be the Coca-Cola Santa Claus of 1931, which really cemented in popular culture the contemporary and commercial blueprint <laughs> blue for the holidays. From manufactured holiday goods to handcrafted domestic treasures, red and green for the holidays was and remains top choice. Which brings us to thing number two. The top choice isn't always what's right for you, you sly creative dog you. So in an effort to explore alternatives, we can always turn to our two hands and a little bit of crafting know-how. Our main material for today is the pom-pom. Steeped in a long and rich military history, the pom-pom has roots and origins all around the world. The pom-pom's use in regalia and uniforms is most often meant to signify a specific class or rank or some other special designation. The notion's biggest rise came during the Depression, where it made for a popular and economical embellishment for handmade goods like home decor and clothing. Pom-poms can be easily made out of a variety of different fibers, with wool, cotton, and acrylic being the most popular. Crafters today affix them to curtains, socks, pillows. They make for a great extra little flair, and they make a great material for quick custom decor. That brings us to thing number three. We will take an assortment of pom-poms, some styrofoam forms, and hot glue to create some custom decor pieces that can be adapted for any time of the year. You can try different materials for interesting effects. For this kind of crafting, it's best to get comfy. So grab your jammies, get a hot toddy, and turn on the latest romantic holiday comedy. And let's get crafted. I have an assortment of colorful pom-poms. This is the assortment that I used for this guy right here. I've tried to pick out all the ones that are similar in size. You might wanna go for something that has a lot of varying sizes like this one or like this mixture here. Some of them can be quite large and then some of them can be quite tiny. This one's really big actually. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's a good pom-pom. Yeah, just kidding, it's cotton candy. <laughs> Ooh, my cavity. <laughs> Brush your teeth, kids. It's real out here. So pom-poms can come in a lot of different varieties. Uh, these are made of like tulle. They're really pretty. And then I also have some embellishments here, just little, some little snowflakes um, to add extra additional winter flair to our project. So I'm gonna start with the cone and then I'll move on to this little wreath here afterwards. This cone was made in the USA and made with recycled plastic, which is always great because the more we can do to be sustainable, the better. I'm gonna start by putting pom-poms around the bottom. I'm gonna try to randomize them and then we'll just work our way up in stacks until we get to the top. I like to start by putting a couple of inches of glue across the form and then go in and grab my pom-poms and apply them like two or three at a time 
let that sit for just a second. It looks like a clown hat, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean. First row. The next row we apply is just gonna get stacked right on top of that. Um, but I'm gonna switch my glue gun though. Okay, row number two. Well, now I have to wait for my glue gun to heat up. While we wait for my hot glue gun, I'll share with you my top three favorite Christmas songs. Right here. Sorry about that little detour, y'all. On to row two. Same thing, we'll just do our little strips a couple of inches at a time. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me giggle. It's just cute. And yes, perhaps I will wear it as a hat after the holidays. This feels so nice. Aww. Okay, almost there. Obviously I'm gonna cut this up for you all, but this is taking me literally 15 minutes um, because it's really not anything difficult and it's kind of relaxing actually. Just give in to the palm. Let it take you. We could all use a little bit more calm these days, right? Now, I don't want my tree to abruptly stop like this one does. So what I did with this one is I layered a palm in the middle of the top and then I just continued on until it felt like it um, had the right kind of finish at the top for me. So I'm gonna do the same thing by giving it a little central stabilization. And then I'm gonna stack some more white pom-poms on top of that, like a blouse. I promise y'all, this is going somewhere. Okay, so this is just a little wobbly, but we're gonna build around it. And obviously you don't have to do this. I'm just, I'm just who I am. <laughs> so you see how that's already starting to taper up a little bit more nicely? than if it just were to stop where we had it before. I don't know, I think it's worth doing in this instance. Um, obviously you can also find uh, cones that have a point or a tip to them that are a little more conical than this one is. So you could also just look for that instead of being a weirdo like me. We build it up and build it up and build it up and now it's solid solid as a tree one more yes let's do it let's take it to the top here we go yay look at that tree that is precious now we have a little brother over here oh if we really want to punch up the holiday effect we can take our little our little doodads Boom. Look at that. Okay, so now we've got this guy and perhaps we could go with a more traditional Christmas appearance on this one. So I'm gonna set these aside and I'll grab the other guys. Um, I'm just sort of working in an area at a time. Since these are all different sizes, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work out just yet. Let's try this guy now. Holly jolly Christmas. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough balls to cover this whole thing. You may not even need to go all the way around. In fact, you could do something that's a little more asymmetrical, sort of, maybe that's what I'll do instead. We're gonna have our beautiful holiday wreath becoming encrusted in this lovely festive petri dish of holiday balls. How about that? Just like sort of creeping up the sides. Sure. That's kind of fun. We are just going with the flow. 
which is one of the wonderful parts about crafting. Something's happening. Little baby. Come on. I feel like we, we're getting close. This is crazy. <laughs> it's weird, but I like it because it looks like something that Grinch would have. I don't know. <laughs> this is my, um, my, my, this is my little wreath. I might put a bow on it or something, but I, I am not mad at this. It's really cute and interesting looking. And it certainly looks like not anyone else's wreath. So if you're going for unique or one of a kind, something like this could definitely be right up your alley. So we have our little collection of pom-pommed out decor things, and this is just the start of what you can do. Your holidays have never been brighter. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed this little easy project. This can take a lot of different forms, which is part of the reason why I'm sharing it with you. You could make your series of trees or a wreath, your name, you could do whatever you like, and you can use any color combination you like as well. So the possibilities really are endless. Just make sure that you share with me what you're making. Huh? I kind of want to just like, <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that, but it's like, Aww. Your Christmas can be just as colorful as this. It doesn't have to be wacky and crazy like mine, but it can have the same warmth and the same heart if you wanted to. And you can put that in yourself. Find an opportunity to get crafty in your home and make the most of it. Stay safe and stay well, and make sure to like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all next week for a new episode. Wait, next week is Christmas. Yeah, we'll do something for Christmas. Don't you worry. I'll see y'all next Friday. <laughs> Bye. The time has come for us to shine like the stars we all are. I'm making up this song on the fly because I believe in you. Yes, I do. I believe in you.